Today's obituaries are brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Funeral services for Larry Gibbon, age 72, of Cullman are incomplete and will be announced later by Cullman Funeral Home. Mr. Gibbon passed away yesterday. Sylvia Antoinette Tiplett Reed of Holly Pond, formerly of Louisiana, passed away on Sunday at Cullman Regional Medical Center. A rosary will be said at 7.30 p.m. tonight at Sacred Heart Catholic Church with a memorial mass at 10 a.m. on Wednesday at the church. Mass of Christian burial will be at 11 a.m. Saturday at Our Lady of Perpetual Help Catholic Church in Bell Chase, Louisiana with burial in the church cemetery. The family will receive friends from 9 a.m. until 11 a.m. at Our Lady of Perpetual Help Catholic Church on Saturday. Hansville Funeral Home is directing Wendell Gary Bug England passed away Saturday at the age of 72. Visitation will be today 5 to 8 p.m. at Moss Service Funeral Home. Gary will lie in state from 2 to 3 p.m. tomorrow at St. John's Evangelical Protestant Church. The funeral service will follow immediately thereafter. And those are our obituaries for today brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Premier Bank presents Today on 2, broadcasting live at channel2coleman.com, right now and, of course, all day long. That's right. We're streaming. Welcome to our program. Did we say it might rain today? <laughs> if we didn't yesterday, we're saying it this morning. Yes, definitely. A rainy Tuesday morning. Let's start with a weather forecast brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. Starting with the weather almanac for today. No, we're going to start with a weather map for today. You can see, boy, it looks like rain almost all over the country. Yeah, a lot of storm activity coming through Missouri. Here's the uh, satellite picture of our part of the country. It looks like it's just over us. Yeah. <laughs> Here's our forecast for today. Partly sunny, 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms, a high of 86. Partly cloudy tonight, 40% chance of rain, low of 72. Tomorrow, again, a 50% chance of rain, otherwise partly sunny, high of 88, 89 Thursday, 88 Friday, 87. It gets kind of boring after a while. It's about the same every day. A little bit of sunshine, a little bit of rain. Summertime in Alabama. That's typical weather, I guess. We've uh, had so much rain this year, though. Yeah, we so have. The temperatures haven't been quite as hot, but no, a lot of rain. That's good. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking we have, supposedly, all of these atheists coming to visit us on Saturday mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that are want to stop the county school prayer caravan. Right. Now, I shouldn't say county school. It is a prayer caravan. It's right. not sponsored by the schools. Right. It's voluntarily. Right. Anybody that wants to show up. But I thought, okay, my visitors coming from out of town. Yes. Atheists. Yes. Which yes. really doesn't make any difference, but we no. should give them the essence of Coleman uh -huh. while they're here. Okay. Right? Yes. Take them to the grotto. Right. Take them through the Shrine of the Blessed Sacrament. <laughs> yes, they'd really like that, I know. <laughs> well, yeah. If they really want to experience Coleman the way it really is, <laughs> That's right. come and see our tourist attractions. That's right. And we'll be happy to take you to church on Sunday. That's right, because there's over 200 of them here, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yeah. Wouldn't that be great? It would be great. It would be great. But you know what? I think there are going to be some extra people here besides the atheists. Somebody was telling me that just this past weekend she was headed back from Alton. And there was this caravan of uh, people from ten with Tennessee plates, okay, that uh, were headed towards Coleman, and she was reading their bumper stickers and everything, and they were definitely uh, Christians, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's uh, I, whatever she named some of the little bumper stickers that they had, and she said, "What are they doing?" And she said, "Oh." 
they're headed to Coleman. They're going to be there when we have this. They want to be a part of that caravan. So I think we're going to get some outside support from people. That uh, oh, that's good. Yeah, that's I think good. it is good. I just we just hope that there's no conflict. No. You know, I mean, no. it's ridiculous. And I just think it's absolutely awful that somebody from is it Wisconsin? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Has to stick their nose in our business. Yeah. You know? They want everybody to think the way they do. Exactly right. And but that's not right. When they're coming to our part of the country, let them see what we think about. That's right. That's exactly <laughs> right. I mean, you know, stay up north. That's what my, my suggestion is stay yeah. up north. We don't want you down here. Yeah. If this is the way you're going to be, yep. we'll accept you for whoever you are, but don't try to change us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And we'd really love to take you to church on yes, Sunday. Yes, we would. <laughs> And we don't even care if you're an atheist or not. That's you're right. You're still welcome to go with us. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We need to talk about Fest Hall. Yeah. Fest Hall will be open even though it's raining. <laughs> I feel sorry for those people out there, but you know what? They're covered up underneath that nice big roof, and it's really going to be breezy and pretty today underneath the, the Fest Hall market plots, and they have homegrown produce, handmade crafts, festival's largest timber frame structure in Alabama. It is taking place every two Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday from 8 until 2, located right there in the historic warehouse district. Go check this out. They've got some wonderful, wonderful veggies, and I like the sourdough bread a lot, and they have sunflowers. I have bought sunflowers there and made arrangements for Westminster, and they're 25 cents a piece. Oh, wow. I mean, you know, <laughs> for $2, I got this huge bouquet of sunflowers. Oh. So, yeah. So go by and check that out. Okay, who's our Facebook friend of the day for today? Oh, our Facebook friend of the day is Tammy Knight, and we are happy to have Tammy. She likes reading and time with her family, and also she will put be put into the drawing, right? Because no, she'll oh, win that's the right. prize that's for today. Everybody wins one. Very the picture good. was Tammy and her husband Ronnie. I know okay. that. All mm -hmm. right, well, good, and yeah. they do win the little, I guess the, the large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's Barbecue. Right, right, worth a trip out to Berlin to check that out and get some because you said it is delicious, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. good. It's awesome. good stuff. Awesome. Okay, good deal. Okay, we have an interesting guest today and an interesting topic that is new to me. Yeah, so I So we'll find out about either. something. Dr. Chris Borden is here. He is the owner and head pharmacist, I guess, I guess you could say head pharmacist at uh, Borden Family Pharmacy and talking to us about Be The Match. It's a national bone marrow registry drive and he's trying to promote some interest and let everybody know that this is taking place. So we're gonna get all the details from him about that in just a little bit. That's what we have coming up. George Spear is here with news and commentary right after this. There's stuff around your house, but we don't make stuff. We make ovens. Dual fuel double ovens. And they bake so evenly that now delicious is something you can depend on. We only make things for one room. The best room. Your kitchen. We're devoted to it. And you can feel it in everything we make. Nobody knows the kitchen like KitchenAid. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. At Premier Bank, we take pride in serving our community. We respect our customers, and we've won awards for our ethical conduct. We're motivated to do all we can for you, and we're interested in your banking needs. We're efficient, safe, and sound, and our relationships with our customers are second to none. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. Time for news and commentary on a Tuesday morning, rainy Tuesday morning. Looks like uh, James Spann is saying we're going to have a bunch of rain today, so just take that umbrella if you need it, and you probably will. Not much happening in s local or the other than the uh, prayer caravan story, but uh, I'll get to that in a few minutes. The uh, governor has decided to provide extra funding 
for a program designed to help people insulate their homes, low-income people, and to have their power bills lowered, so to speak. Almost a million dollars statewide. It's a good program, but again, we're depending on government, aren't we, to do things that many of us, many of us did for family 30, 40 years ago. At any rate, the head of the re uh, National Republican Party yesterday threatened to cut out CNN and NBC from the GOP presidential primary debates if the networks do not shelve their plans to start glorifying uh, Hillary Clinton, is basically what they're saying. That both NBC, uh, well, they announced a four-hour Hillary miniseries, uh, <laughs> entertainment thing before, you know, the next election. And uh, uh, CNN's doing a documentary. They're trying to tip the scales. And you, I mean, these folks don't even make any qualms about it. They say they are. I mean, you look at folks like Soledad O'Brien last year, remember that? You know, the, their commentary, their, their, uh, the way that they cover issues regarding Republicans, it doesn't matter who the next Republican candidate's going to be for president, they're going to, it's going to be a 24-7 deal to, for them to find something wrong with him or her. That's just what it's going to be. And we have to come to that agreement. There are times when it's a good idea not to have a red lobster, when it's a good idea not to have an olive garden. And why is that? Because a salad mix that was linked to a severe stomach virus that sickened more than 200 people in Iowa, Nebraska, was served at Olive Garden and Red Lobster. So they have stopped selling it, obviously. And you know, what's lettuce, what's the shelf life on lettuce once you cut it up and put it in a bag and sell it at Food World? What, 30 minutes maybe? It doesn't take long for that stuff to start turning brown, does it? Maybe a couple of days and that's it. A criminal investigation is underway into the death of two boys out, well, up in Campbellton, New Brunswick, in Canada. These two boys were invited over by a friend whose father owned a pet store, and during the night, a python gets out of its cage. I think it went through the ventilation system of the apartment complex. The next morning, the father of the single boy finds these two boys dead. 111, 17, strangled. Isn't that something? You know, I don't understand the attraction to those kind of things. I just don't understand that. Before Jeff Bezos bought the Washington Post for $250 million, and they are going left and right, aren't they, when it comes to print publications, he had some choice words for a reporter. He said, there's one thing I'm certain about. There won't be printed newspapers in 20 years. Some of us will never live to see that. No newspapers. And it's true. I find myself going online looking at websites, finding out what's going on. And if it's a big enough story, a big fire or something, a lot of uh, suspense, then maybe go to television to see it on the big screen and such. But for the most part, people are tuning into that. All this talk about the prayer caravan. And of course, Superintendent of County Schools, Billy Coleman, talking to reporters this morning, having a, or this afternoon, having a press conference. All this being said, so quickly we find ourselves forgetting history. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, on the eve of the big D-Day invasion, went to the people of America with one of his fireside chats on the radio, that's all we had back then. And he said, in this poignant hour, I ask you to join with me in prayer. Now, this is a Democrat. This is an individual who's concerned about the country. He's our president at that point. He says, Almighty God, our sons, pride of our nation, this day have set upon a mighty endeavor, a struggle, a struggle to preserve our republic, our religion, and our civilization, and to set free a suffering humanity. Now, these, this is what we accepted as the standard back when. So when did it all go awry, right? The separation of church and state is not something that's in the Constitution. It was something that Thomas Jefferson stated. The phrase separation of church and state itself does not appear in the U.S. Constitution. The First Amendment states that Congress, quote, shall make no law respecting an establishment of our religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. How quickly they twist things. Stay tuned more today on two after this.
At Premier Bank, we're a bit old-fashioned. We actually answer the telephone when you call. However, old-fashioned doesn't mean we aren't up to date. With the latest technology, Premier Bank meets the various needs of our customers. Mobile smartphone banking, internet banking, ATMs, convenient offices. At Premier Bank, we have the right products right now with good old-fashioned customer service. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. Fire, accident, storm, they all happen in Coleman County. And for three generations, Night Free Insurance has been there for you. Continuing today with Elliott and Westcott Free, customizing your life, home, auto, and business insurance with auto owners. Call Westcott, Elliott, Judy, Tina, Angie, or Karen. Night Free Insurance, where people are the difference. Welcome back to Today on 2. Let's try to give away some prizes for today. We have the bag of assorted apples from Steel Orchard. And we have the lunch sandwich and chips from Frosting's Bakery. Good eating. Mm -hmm. Healthy eating. Yeah, that's right. Those are the prizes we have for today. Here we go with our merchant ads. I'll ask a question about one of these ads. Starting with Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. Sandwich plates, rib salads, homemade sides every day. They do catering located in the Berlin Quick Stop on Highway 278. And the Crude Oil Spotty Shop reminds you to move over for the emergency vehicles. They also have large and small towing available, local or long distance, and it is a body shop right there on Highway 31 North, Earl's Body Shop. The Teacher Supply has classroom materials, decoration, teacher resources, educational supplies located on 9th Avenue Southwest across from the Coleman Cemetery. And the Triple Berry Brownie Blizzard is the Blizzard of the Month, but take advantage of their five buck lunch. It includes all kinds of, like a sandwich and fries and a drink and a dessert, so it's a great way to eat lunch for just five dollars. Now open, be fit, no contract, fifty dollars a month is all you pay. You get a personal trainer included, located right next door to Renard's Gallery and Gifts. And diabetic shoes are now available at Borden Family Pharmacy, which is located right there on the corner of Eva Road and Highway 157. This is the finest quality diabetic footwear ever at Borden Family Pharmacy. Mr. X Menswear, where you'll find regular big and tall size men's clothing, located on Compass Way Southwest, right by Doug Dogg at Jewelers. And Tires for Less is more than just tires. You can have your oil changed there, do minor engine repairs, have those shocks and brakes checked. Go see Greg and the guys at Tires for Less located right there on Highway 31 North. And Cotton State Barns of Coleman located on Highway 278 West just past the interstate. They have carports, play sets, utility trailers, and storage buildings. And those are some of the merchant ads. Question for today, I got an easy one for today. If you want to go swimming, Rain or shine? <laughs> Which one of our advertisers gets you fixed up? Whether it's a rainy day or a nice sunny day, they've got swimming pools for either way. That's right. Indoor okay. and out. 256 734 7399 is our telephone number. The first person with the correct answer receives the bag of assorted apples from Steel Orchard and the lunch sandwich and chips from Frosting's Bakery. And we'll take your phone calls right after Money Matters, brought to you by Premier Bank. Good morning, I'm Hazen Rush with Premier Bank, and today's Money Matters topic is internet banking. Internet banking is a useful tool everyone can utilize and take advantage of. Internet banking allows you to access your account online 24 hours a day. So if you're wondering about your balance, what checks have cleared, when your loan payments due, or you would like to transfer money at any time of the day, you can have access to it. So run by your local bank and sign up for internet banking today. Once again, our telephone number, 256-734-7399. Which of our advertisers has swimming pools available, whether it's rain or shine? And we have a caller ready to go. Hello, who's calling? From where are you calling? From where are you calling? From Coleman. From Coleman, okay. Which advertiser has swimming pools? That's right, the Wellness and Aquatic Center. Too easy for today, That's isn't it? That's right. Okay, stay on the line, please. Thanks for calling in. The Wellness and Aquatic Center. Indoor pools, outdoor pools. I don't know if you want to go swimming in the rain, but 
Maybe it doesn't make any difference. I don't guess it does. You're already wet. <laughs> wet. Wet is wet. Here's the rest of our merchant ads for today. Starting with Mullins Body Shop, you can count on them each and every day as you have for the past 50 plus years. Mullins Body Shop. And Brown and Company Beverages, located right there on Highway 157 next to the Ford dealership. It's a specialty wine and beer store, and they have a large variety of domestics and imports at Brown and Company. Deb's Bookstore is your hometown bookstore, located just down the road. Use books half price each and every day at Deb's Bookstore. Night Free Insurance, providing insurance coverage now for over three generations. It's one of the top ten growth agencies in the state of Alabama for auto owners. That's Night Free Insurance. Grand Point Pharmacy, home of two old goats, arthritis and fibromyalgia, lotion and soap. Grand Point Pharmacy, located on Highway 31, just north of 157. And fitness opportunities await you at the Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center. And of course, they do have the indoor leisure pool, the Whirlpool Spa, and the outdoor six-lane competition pool. So go by and go swimming today if you want to. Baldwin Counseling Center, Dr. Howard Rogers says, have problems, need to talk, want some privacy? Help is a phone call away. Call for an appointment. 256-737-3087. Auto Tech, another place where you could go to get repairs on, done on your car. They have major engine repairs that can be done, transmission, brake, foreign and domestic auto repair, all this in the Find My area. And those are the merchant ads for today. We do have a few birthdays to tell you about. People celebrating on August 6th. Yep, we do. Let's take a look at that. Uh, looks like Cherry Gibson's going to have a birthday. Laurie Knight. Kimberly Herta. Herta? Herta? Sorry, Terry Thomas and Cody Edmondson. And I think we also have some anniversaries, right? James and Linda Rogers and Wiley and Dorothy Wallace. And everybody's name, I guess, will be put into the drawing on Friday where they have that possibility of winning an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. We have some medical information that you're going to find quite interesting coming up right after this. In the nation, our agents are always there, helping make sure that when your life changes, your nationwide insurance coverage changes too. We put members first because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation where protection is personal. Nationwide is on your side. Wallace State offers associate degree and certificate programs in Alabama's hottest job fields. Every year this decade, almost 3,800 new workers will enter these fields. Will you be one of them? Be one of us. Get in a Wallace state of mind. That's the projected number of job openings for trained welders this decade. That's the potential salary for welders trained the Wallace State way with the latest robotic technology for manufacturing. Who will you be? Be one of us. Get in a Wallace state of mind. And welcome back to the last half of our program. We're going to visit now with Dr. Chris Borden, who is the owner of Borden Family Pharmacy. And we're actually talking about Be the Match. Mm -hmm. It's a drive that uh, they are trying to do, I guess, to get some, get some information out there and get some donors and so mm -hmm. forth and so on. So tell me a little bit about that, because is this a new, is this something new? Or? It's not new, but it's not uh, probably quite as common as a blood drive. Okay. This gives healthy individuals an opportunity to enter the National Bone Marrow Registry. Uh, there are approximately 12,000 Americans who are currently in need of a bone marrow transplant. And unfortunately for these people, their physicians have already ruled out any of their family members as being matches as donors. So their only possibility of getting a life-saving bone marrow transplant is the kindness of others, those who are healthy who can donate and be a match. And so they enter the registry and it allows people to be a potential donor. Now, why would Borden Family Pharmacy want to get involved in this? Um, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, we had a drive in Coleman last year. A gentleman who I go to church with, Richard Gorham, had a drive, and he asked me to participate. So I was, got to go through that firsthand and saw how easy it was, but also how beneficial it felt to know that, hey, I could possibly save someone's life someday down the road. The other reason is, is my wife, who is from Selma, has a lifelong friend who is currently in need of a bone marrow transplant. He's our age, he has children our age, so that makes it a little bit more personal when you mm -hmm. think that, hey, Emmett is very sick, and uh, 
uh, we would hope that uh, somebody down the road, maybe somebody who's entered the drive will be a match for him. They've already found out that none of his family members are matches. So uh, if he if his illness progresses, he will need a bone marrow transplant. Now, how does somebody participate in this? Uh, it's very simple. Uh, there's no cost to enter the registry. Okay. Uh, if you're between the ages of 18 and 44, uh, we will have the drive next Tuesday, August the 13th from 11 to 4. It will take about 15 to 20 minutes. You would fill out some brief paperwork. We take four Q-tips and just do cheek swaps. And that's all that's required at this time. So no needles, no, no. injections, <laughs> no. nothing like that. Now, if they do find that you are mm -hmm. a match, then of course you have to be willing to, mm -hmm. to and how, what kind of procedure do you have to go, to go through for that? We're looking at about a 30 to 40 hour time commitment. That'd be broken up into blocks over about six weeks. The only thing you'd be asked to cover would be your expense for traveling back and forth, probably to Birmingham, uh, and then w your time away from work. Mm -hmm. uh, the Be The Match Foundation covers all the medical expense. You would be given medication. About 75% of the time, you're able to donate through the peripheral blood system. So it basically is like giving blood. Okay. Uh, about 25% of the time is when they actually have to uh, harvest bone marrow directly out of a bone. For that, it's an outpatient procedure. You're putting an anesthesia. You don't feel any discomfort. Okay. This sounds like a pretty major commitment on a person's part, especially if it has to go through the bone. Uh, it, uh, it's all relative, I guess. Uh -huh. It is an outpatient procedure. Keep in mind, entering the registry it puts you at the odds of about 1 in 500 of being a match for someone someday. Okay. Um, again, you are going to be donating for someone who otherwise could possibly die if they don't right. get, a, get get this 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 bone marrow, bone marrow. So you literally have a chance to save someone's life. This is an awesome opportunity. You know, when I enter the registry, deep down, I've always enjoyed exceptional health. I think I mean it's my desire that someday I get that call. Mm -hmm. That would be very neat to know that I could help. Right. Help be play such an integral part in helping save someone's life. Right. And uh, when you donate bone marrow, is this something that your body replaces? Yes. You're given medication so before like you blood. donate. Yes. You give medica you're given medication prior to your donation mm -hmm. that increases your amount of, red of your blood forming cells. And then uh, because you are healthy and also because of the medication, you'll be back to your normal level within about four to six weeks. And you say that a, a, what, a one in 500 is uh, the odds for a match? Currently. Statistically, yes. And that doesn't seem to be that difficult to find somebody. Is it just that there, there's not that many people registered? Is that the idea? It is based on racial and ethnic heritage is, is, the, is the lines that are used in determining a tissue match. Uh, and it, is, it's, it, it has to get very specific to decrease the likelihood of rejection. Okay. And why up to age 44? What's the magic number there? Be the Match Foundation has just learned that the likelihood of someone being a donor after the age of 44 decreases the likelihood of them being healthy enough to be a match. And so they're looking for a little bit younger folks mm -hmm. who they know that are, there's a really good likelihood that if they are a match, they could actually become a donor. Okay. And tell us the details again. When do they go? They're going to go to Board Family Pharmacy, yes, right? Yes, we're hosting okay. at our pharmacy. It is next Tuesday, August the 13th from 11 to 4. Again, no appointment is necessary. There's no cost to, to uh, enter the registry. It does cost Be The Match about $100 to process a registrant. Um, we would love for anyone who felt um, but, uh, felt moved to contribute to the, help defray that expense. Or if you're over the age of 44, I would encourage you to um, consider just making a financial contribution. We have lots of information on our Facebook page. Okay. So I guess just go to Borden Family Pharmacy. Follow on Facebook, yes. Okay. Yes, Very look, good. look us up on Facebook. We uh, have a Facebook ad right now that's uh, that's uh, letting up folks know about it. But uh, yes, you'll find lots of good information there. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you a lot for being here. And this is really something that people I think need to think about. Mm -hmm. But it's what what a gift. And when mm -hmm. we talk about giving blood as being a gift, this is really a major gift. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you might not ever even be called. You never know. Right. Yeah. All right, Chris, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Okay. Stay tuned. We have more coming up right after this. At Premier Bank, we are very proud of the long-lasting relationships we have with our customers.
We'll go almost anywhere to meet your banking needs. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor our loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Meet the KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. It might just change the way you cook. Induction technology heats the pan and not the cooking surface to offer you a new level of precision, speed, and energy efficiency. Nine settings give you different levels of heat to achieve precise temperatures and amazing responsiveness. Water boils in just seconds, making this the fastest to boil induction cooktop available. The KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. Now it's time for our community billboards brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. Coleman City Schools Child Find Campaign is going on. It's a statewide effort by the State Department of Education and Department of Rehabilitation Services to identify and evaluate children with disabilities from birth to age 21. For more information, give them a call at 256-734-2233 at extension 9041. And Sunday, August 18th at 5 o'clock, St. John's Evangelical Protestant Church in the Christ Hall will be, will be presenting Wes Hampton. And, of course, he is a member of the Gaither uh, uh, Vocal Band. Vocal mm -hmm. Band. And so that ought to be a very entertaining and enjoyable evening. And I'm sure it is free to the public, right? Yes. Okay. And Sweet Tater Festival will be taking place on Labor Day weekend, September the 1st and the 2nd, from Sunday until 1, and 1 to 4, and Monday 8 until 3. There's room for arts and craft vendors, so it's a two-day event, and it's just $35. Applications can be had online at www.sweettaterfestival.com. And if you have a community billboard you want to share with us, you can email it to channel2coma at gmail.com, fax it to 256-734-7680, or be a friend on Facebook, Channel 2 Coleman. Our weather forecast brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Make the switch to Mitch. Partly sunny today, 50% chance of rain, a high of 86. Cloudy tonight, 40% chance of rain, a low of 72. More of the same tomorrow, 50% chance of rain with a high around 88. What's going on tomorrow on Today on 2? Well, we I think tomorrow, we've talked about this a couple of times, but we are going to feature all the uh, just highlights from the concerts in the park that took mm -hmm. place this summer. So The best of the bands. Yes. That's our program for today. Thank you for watching Today on 2. Hope you have a great day. <laughs>